Hello everyone, it's good to be back. Welcome to A Plus Soft Tech IT Consult. If today is your first time seeing our video or visiting our channel, please give us a subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a like and a comment if you enjoyed watching this video or learned something new. In today's video, we are going to turn VLC Media Player into a monster of a tool and not just a media player. Eureka! Downloading YouTube videos using VLC? Is that even possible in the first place? We'll see to that in this video. Before we start, let's take a background of the VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player began in 1996 as a student project at the Ecole Centrale Paris, initially designed to stream videos across campus using a client-server architecture. It became open source in 2001, evolving into a powerful cross-platform media player known for playing nearly any format, even damaged files, while remaining free, ad free and privacy respecting. The leak developer, Jean Baptiste Kempf, refused lucrative offers to commercialize VLC, preserving its mission as a user first, user friendly, open source tool trusted worldwide. His philosophy, as he said, VLC is for the people, not for profit. Let's employ Tech Alchemy to use VLC to download videos from YouTube. This is going to give you an affront on your technical feet and put you on top of the tech game. Without wasting much time, let's get started. A plus soft tech IT consult. So we are here. Let's get started. We already mentioned what we are going to do in this video. Just downloading YouTube videos using the VLC media player. Because this is an educational channel, we are going to learn every width and length of how to download the YouTube videos using the VLC media player. Please follow up. As we go, we are going to explain every concept, every process, every key detail, every element. We are not leaving anything out. And we are not leaving you out as well. We believe that the knowledge that we are sharing is going to help you to be able to take it up and then even improve on. Okay, so it is not only going to be about the how-to, but the understanding and then the procedure so that you can also explain to another person if you are being asked, how was this done? How did you do this? So first things first, before we start, this is the VLC media player. So in case you don't have this VLC media player, I'm going to teach you how to download VLC media player. Okay, so first things first, if you have any browser, either Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Opera, uh, Brave, any of the Mozilla Firefox, you can just open them. When you open them in the search bar, okay, just type download VLC. Okay, so as it opens, select the first link and then we click on VLC. You see, this is VLC for Windows. So we click on download. If you're on Windows, just do that. Okay, so in here, it is downloading. See, it says, thanks. Your download will start in few seconds. So let's see, is it downloading? All right, all right, it's downloading. But in case, in case, if it doesn't start downloading, you are going to use this particular button, okay? The click here. When you click here, it is going to start to download. So it is downloading. Let's wait for our download to finish. All right, so we have it in here. The VLC media player is downloaded. But can you see this from the name? It is written as VLC 3.021 uh, Win32. Okay, so as you can see, the name of the application is VLC 3.021 Win32. It is telling us that the application is a 32 bit application. But the question is, why is it going to run? Since our architecture, our architecture is a 64 bit. As you can see from here, architecture of our processor is 64 bit, but the application is 32 bit. So to explain this, remember, 
Every 64-bit architecture is able to or to accumulate or able to run both 32-bit and 64-bit application. But in the vice versa, it doesn't work. So just know that 64-bit CPUs are able to run 32-bit and 64-bit applications. But 32-bit CPUs are not going to be able to run 64-bit applications. Only 32-bit applications. That is the reason why you see this. So let's install. We double click and then we install this application. We select yes. Okay. And then we select next, 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 next until it finishes installing. So let's wait for it to finish installing. Okay. So we are done. We can click on the finish to see whether it is going to open. Okay. So it opened. It opens. So we are done with the first phase. We've downloaded the VLC media player. Okay. This is it. We've installed it. This is it. Okay. So secondly, there's an application here, which is called YouTube downloader. Okay. YouTube downloader. I'm going to leave this particular file in the description. You're going to find this particular file and the setup to, uh, of the VLC also in the description. So what do we do with this particular file? Okay, I'm going to copy this file and then I'm going to open this PC, go to the local disk C and I'm going to paste it in the local disk C right here. Okay, so we can see the application being what? Pasted right here. Okay, so what's next? What next do I do? Okay, let's assume I'm going to open YouTube. Let's see, YouTube. In here because we have no account on this system this is a new pc so we don't have any watch time we don't have any history so i think we'll visit our web our our channel okay we'll visit our channel and then we'll look at some of our videos okay so with this yes let's look at this one okay so let's put it right there look at this we have the link the youtube link is right here i'm going to explain an important concept on the youtube link okay yes yeah, stay with me pay attention to this okay so i'm going to put the link right here look at this yes so this is a youtube link remember this particular link has been encoded this is not a direct link it has been encoded if i say encoded meaning it means it has been covered it has been translated assuming it is a b and c it has been translated into what into a1 b1 and then c1 that is encoding okay we are covering the whole test okay and after we decode so this link is only directly to youtube but on onto other platforms it has been encoded so what do we do with this what do we do with this link okay the next thing we are going to do since we want to download the video okay we want to download because we are not premium users or we are not this let me see can we download there is no way i don't think so when you click it's not downloading anything for you to see anything anywhere okay so we are going to what to download just go to the start menu and then you type in cmd you just select run as administrator okay you select okay okay so with this yes we are going to change our directory right now we are in c windows system 32 we are going to change our directory into the c directory so change directory cd and then c from here okay so we are in the c directory okay we are going to type this command yt okay dlp.tse which means youtube downloader program okay it is an executable on windows so in here what are we going to do next okay when i put in the link this way this is going to download our video okay let's see that let's see that let's see that even though that is not our focus in this video but i think 
it is a tip okay for you okay it is an extra uh, something that i'm giving to you as well so let's look at this if i click enter let's see what happens can you see that isn't it downloading our video yes of course it is it is downloading our video so let's wait for it to finish video downloaded where, where would we find the video since we are in the c directory let's get there and let's go and see whether we find the video i think this is the video let's play and let's see yes the video is playing okay that's fine that's fine now let's get into our main focus so this is one of the tips one way to download what a video from youtube yes we are using one stone to kill two birds so first of all we've learned how to download what a video from youtube using ytd alone all right now we want to, to go into our main agenda that is using the vlc so we are going to type the ytd again this time around i'm going to use a flag okay an option that is this is the format we, we are saying we need the best format okay and i'm going to use a flag j which means i want the ytd2 to print me the direct link i was talking to you about let me copy the link i think having copied the link let me copy the link from here so let me put the link here what is happening okay say yes so this is it so ytd lp.esc this is the format best format this means let's print the link okay so i'm going to click enter on this command let's see what happens we wait a while yes so look at this you see, can you see we have we have a new link look at this let me copy this and let me also add up here okay yes let me copy this link let me put this one to here like this so this is the what the original link from youtube and then this this is the what the encoded link for youtube and then this is the decoded link so this is a direct link if i put this link okay in a browser do you know we can download this link if i put it in a browser look at this let me put this link in a browser see this can you see we can download this video just look at something it is downloading yes when i place it the the direct link that i've generated or i've extracted from youtube it is downloading let it finish downloading and let's play back so this is the third thing that we've done okay we are using one stone to do a lot of things let's look at this yes it's it's playing okay let's get back let's get back to business let's get back to business that's fine okay so let's go back and let's hop on to the vlc player i'm going to open the vlc player right here okay so it has opened this is the interface of the vlc player okay so i'm going to go to the media i'm going to select open network stream and then here okay you can see network let's see we have file we have dex we have network we have capture but i'm going to use the network okay from here i want to show you something okay look at this if i should put this link from youtube it is not going to work because it is encoded okay if i should even play let me play see it is going to give us an error okay so it's supposed to play but it is rather going to give us an error because it is not a direct link so let's wait there is going to be an error can you see there's been some kind of error popping up okay but let's do the same thing okay and then let me copy this and let me get the direct link see what happens whether we can download or we can't download 
okay so i'm going to put this link here i'm going to let me just download i don't want to play i just we are downloaded so let's go to convert so we go to convert and then so this is the link so this is just select uh display the output okay here we select the first one h.264 that is what uh good quality okay here let's type maybe let me put any name the name so in case maybe um you had the name of the file or the name of the video you can put in anything that you want to that is the name the name of the so i think it is advisable that what you go get um what's the name you go get the title of the video okay what about you get the the title of the video which i think um we had ucc from yes so let's go ahead so it was this yes so the title of the video is this let me go grab that one okay and then we what we just put it here as a name <clears throat> okay so i'll click on save if the file name is not valid i think because of the what of the emoji this emoji okay let me click let me clean this one okay maybe it is too long a lot of spaces let me clean some of them let me just make it ucc um grading like this okay let me click on save you see this saved and i'm going to click on start you are going to see it is going to start okay playing it to the end very quickly that means it is downloading see something okay so look at this so let let me just skip let me just skip okay let me just skip okay so let's see whether we had it downloaded or we didn't let's see i think it was this let me see okay let me delete this let's do it again network yes convert or save okay so ucc i'll put the save here i'll click on start yes so can you see C can you see it downloading okay so let's wait for it to finish great it is done okay we can't see anything again so let me get back to where uh, we saved it in the doc my document okay so let's go to document look at this let me open okay so our video is playing our video is playing yes yeah, so this brings us to the end of this video we've learned how to download youtube videos using vlc but remember we gave you two bonus tips that is one using the ytd and then two generating the direct link into the browser to get the video we believe you've enjoyed this video you've learned something new please don't go yet if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do subscribe so that anytime we drop a new video you are going to get the alert until we meet again the name is kwami a plus and i'm out watch out peace shalom bye bye for more information and also to reach us, please contact the numbers on the screen. You can also reach us through our social media handles displayed on the screen. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to our social media handles.
A plus Softec IT Consult. Innovative solutions with the difference.